one is called The Bees of Naupaka. I had written this and composed this on a beautiful place called Old Airport, Makaeo, a beach park here in Kona. And my family has a lot of stewardship in that area. It's my, I have Ke'eaos and my great-great-grandmother is buried there. And so it's a lot, it's very connected to my family and myself. So I was there. I go there quite a bit to meditate and just to hang out and when I have obstacles to overcome. And so I was just picturing back in the day when I was playing in the same tidal pools, uh, the keikis and the children I was watching playing in the tidal pools. Once in a while they would scrape their knees and such, cry to the moms and dads and five minutes later they would do it again and again, you know. I used to do that in an alpaca tree, trees, catch the bees in my hand, listen to them buzz around, but once in a while I'll get stung by the bees. Cry to my mom and dad, and five minutes later I'll do it again and again. This goes out to the resilience of children. And we as adults should be as resilient that when life stings you, you get up and get some more. Flying around my guitar. are really fast. Oh, my ukulele player wants to get in. Let me go the bees of Naupaka for you guys. Mahalo.